Hi, altar servers. Uh, this is William, a seminarian, and I just wanted to make these videos for you today to give you a little bit of a look at some of the different tasks that we ask the altar servers to do here at Our Lady of Nazareth for, for Mass. Um, I know we've, over the past few months, as we've been opening up after COVID-19, um, there have been a few things that have gradually been changing. So we just wanted to give you these videos to give you just a sense of how uh, the altar servers are serving at Mass at this moment and so that you can kind of have, have a baseline to, to look at to see, okay, this is, this is what we're, we're aiming for um, at the different points of Mass. So I hope that you'll take some time to watch these videos. And if you're a server who has, who has been serving here at Our Lady of Nazareth for a while, that you can just watch these and refresh your memory and, and just um, take a look at some of the things that have changed a little bit in the past few months so that you're ready to, to serve the next time. Or if you're a new server watching these videos, then welcome. And uh, hopefully these videos will help prepare you to begin serving at OLN. All right. Thank you for, for serving at our parish and um, God bless you. So when you first arrive to serve at the altar at mass, the first place you'll go is back here to this hallway where we have um, a little sacristy room right here. And this is where we keep the vestments for the altar servers. So you'll see we have these vestments. You have, this is called your alb, and this is the cincture. And when you put on the alb, this is pretty self-explanatory, but you've got buttons here on your shoulders. Don't forget about this shoulder, this one on, on your left shoulder. You have to do that one first, and then these on your right shoulder. And there's also a little, a little tie to tie around your waist. And once you put that alb on, this is probably the most difficult part about being an altar server is, is this cincture, which is just like a belt. But the way to do it is you take both ends in one hand, and then this other side in your other hand. And before you do anything with these, you actually take this side and make a loop, right? And then you kind of bend it back over itself to make another loop. And that's the one you put these through. And then you'll just be able to tighten that until it goes around your waist, just like, like that. And you can, uh, you can replay that about 15 times until you get it, or you can just practice it on your own when you serve. It takes a little while, but but you'll, you'll get the hang of it. All right, so you put on the alb and the cincture. And then the last thing that you'll remember to put on is this cross. And so you take one of these crosses and you just wear it around your, around your neck. And then once you're vested for, for mass, uh, you remember to pray. And I just have this, this little altar server prayer hung up right here on the wall. Um, and it's just a short prayer. It's always good to pray to prepare as we serve for Mass. All right, and then once you're done here, the next thing you'll do before you get ready for Mass, you want to make sure you arrive a good 20 minutes before Mass because there are a few things that we have to do to make sure we're ready for Mass. So we'll actually walk back to around the back behind the sanctuary to check on a few things. And I'll show you the way that we'll walk. We'll walk kind of around the hallway here. And so at this point, people will be coming in for, to get ready for Mass. So people might say hi and, and everything, but we also want to be uh, respectful and, and uh, not too distracting as we're, as we're letting people get, get settled. Um, and another thing, as we're walking to the back, something you, I've heard a lot of altar servers ask or come up with ideas of, uh, wh why do we wear white? Why, why are the albs that we wear white. What is, what is the symbolism there? People have come up with some interesting ideas, but the, uh, the, the basic reason is that alb, the word, means white. And when we're, all of us are baptized, we were given a white garment. 
And that, um, that symbolizes that that baptism, it points forward to the promise that Jesus makes us of, of heaven, of, of eternal life with him. And so white is really that color that symbolizes our baptism, but also our goal of, of making it to heaven. And, um, and so when we're at mass, when we're serving at mass, we're really giving like these people who come to mass, this glimpse into, into this heaven, into you know, the prayer of, of the saints. And we're really in the presence of God, like we will be in heaven. Um, and so what a great privilege to, to be a server and to really help people to enter into that prayer. So, so that's something you think about it. What a, you know, a great honor it is to be, to be able to be an altar server and to be able to really, even by the clothes that we wear, to point people toward, toward God, toward, toward heaven. All right, so as we're entering into the sanctuary here, we'll come in this back door and we'll always make sure we're quiet and respectful as we're entering into the church. And whoever is the server who's carrying the cross is usually the one who can light the candles, the altar candles. So you'll come into this little sacristy here and you'll see that we have these, these lighters right here, are the ones we use to light the altar candles. So in this drawer, you'll find some lighters and you just light this this uh, little wick here and then we go out and, and light these altar candles. And basically the way that I usually do it is I go out on this to the right here on this side, light the first altar candle, then I pass by the tabernacle in the middle and genuflect to our Lord in the tabernacle, then I go to the other altar candle, and I come back around this other side. So you kind of make a, a loop. And the cool thing about this lighter here is this little lever pulls the, the little candle up and down. So when you're done, you just pull it down and it puts out the flame. Super easy. So let me light these candles. And when you're done lighting the candles, you just push that, that candle back up so it doesn't s stick to the, the metal there and place it right back on that, that spot. And the other server, um, while that server is lighting the candles, should probably take this time to check the Roman Missal. So that's going to be one of the things that the server will do at Mass to hold the Roman Missal for the priest during a couple prayers. And so you want to check that those are, that you know where the right spot to open it is. And so we'll keep that missile right here on this little credence table. And usually we'll have those prayers on this purple ribbon. So for instance, this coming Sunday is the 17th Sunday in ordinary time. And the first prayer is called the collect, this, fir this first one. And then the last one is the prayer after communion, this one at the bottom. And so, as you'll see in the, in the video that's coming up, the server will come uh, to get ready for the collect during the glory to God. And that's where you'll open this book to, and get ready to walk out in front of the priest. And then the second one, after clearing the altar, after communion, that's when the prayer after communion will happen. So before Mass, you just want to check, you know that that ribbon's in the right spot and you're ready to go with that. All right? And then just finally, um, while you're back here before Mass, 
um, a good thing to do is just to check and make sure that everything's in the right place on the credence tables over here where we have all the vessels for, for communion. So the chalice, this paten, the ciborium, here's the cruet with water in it, and the bowl and the towel for the hand washing. And um, if you have any questions about these things, don't hesitate to ask the other server, if it's an older server, or to ask uh, Mrs. Huddleston or Mr. Sheehan, or, or even the priest can help you with, with these things, all right? So after the, these, these few things before Mass, we'll head back the same way we came, and we'll go back up to the narthex and get ready for the procession. And then the, the music will, will begin, and usually right as they're beginning to sing is when we want to start walking, so you just make sure that everyone's behind you is ready. And then, uh, and then go ahead. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. All right, so as we begin setting the altar, the altar servers are going to go to the credence tables and begin by um, taking the chalice and the Roman Missal and walk to the altar together. As they're placing these items down and they'll bow together, the one server will go back to the credence tables to get the patents and the ciborium while the other one will stay at the altar and begin to uh, unfold the corporal. Now the corporal, you always fold in the same way. Um, and it's folded very carefully just to um, be careful of any particles of, of the Holy Eucharist that might stay on there to keep them contained. And then the chalice will just go right to the right of the corporal. The priest will put that on the corporal later. But then all of the other vessels, the paten, uh, as she's holding right now, and the ciborium will be placed on the corporal um, in the general area of the top right. And then finally she'll, un, uh, she'll do the Roman Missal um, and put the, the stand up and then open the book. And so the Missal at this point of Mass will always be opened to the second tab which will be, which will say the liturgy of the Eucharist. And so she, once she set that, she'll bow to the altar. And then if they're ready to bring up the gifts, walk down with the priest around to the front of the altar. And so the priest should first take the wine cruet, hand it to the server, and then take the patent himself, and then we'll bow together. 
and return to the sanctuary. And this server will take the top off of the wine cruet and hand that cruet to the other server, who will then bring it to the altar. And coming around the cantor stand, she'll come to the side of the altar, where the priest will be ready to pour first the wine into the chalice, and then hand it back, and then place the water into the chalice, and then hand it back. And you'll bow to the priest. And then while he's praying this prayer over the chalice, then the servers will go to get ready for the hand washing. And one of them will have the water cruet and the other one with the bowl and the towel. And they'll walk around the canter stand to the side of the altar. And then the server will pour a little bit of water over the priest's fingers. And then the other server will offer him this towel for him to dry his hands. I'll give it back and then they'll bow together. And then they'll head back to the credence table. And then once he's done, he'll start walking back up to the altar. And this is the server's cue to um, bring the water cruet to the altar. When you, see, when, when you see the priest come back, he will begin to purify the vessels. And these, the server should bring the water cruet this time. And He'll probably take that cruet and he'll pour a little bit of water into the chalice. And then he'll usually place it to the side. And at that point, the server can take the water cruet back to the credence table. The other server can begin to come and help to bring items back to the credence table. And as the priest places any items, any vessels to the right side of the altar, that's generally the signal that you can take that back to the credence table. Um, as he is purifying these vessels. Um, and you want to basically just take one thing at a time so that both servers can help with, with these. The last thing will usually be the chalice. All right, so Mass has ended. Go in peace.
All right, so thank you for watching this video and thank you for, for serving at, at our parish. Um, you know, it, I know it probably seems like there's a lot of detailed tasks and different things you have to remember as an altar server, but um, it's not just about all the different things that you're doing, um, about you know, serving the priest, serving the community, but even more so, it's, um, it's just about how, how great of a privilege it is to be so close to these mysteries of our faith, to be so close to Jesus and to really get to be such a great um, example to the rest of the parish to help them to pray. And by, by everything that you do, um, all the ways that, that you act as an altar server, you can really lead people closer to Jesus. And so, yeah, th just thank God every time you get to um, serve here at Mass, um, which is what a great, great pr privilege that is. Um, all right, thank you again for watching and, and know that I'm praying for you as, as you start or continue this, this ministry. All right, God bless.